Welcome to Spitfire Mods. This is an initial setup video for our Scottle HR360 or uh, Spitfire Mods modified HR360. Um, the first thing you're going to do when you unpack the unit is attach your attach your individual rails. Uh, your typical unit has three rails. Um, I usually go with a stud on the inside, a, a slotted groove, and then a stud. So using your your knobs, you would put the studded one, a slotted one, and a stud on both sides. So that would be your first step. Um, after that, you're going to want to attach your individual nozzles. So the lower nozzle is actually, there's two different nozzles typically come with this machine. They have a locking collar underneath, so if you crank it all the way up, you should have access to um, underneath. The, the knob to crank it all the way up is over here on the side. Um, right here, so adjusting that knob will get you some elevation on this lower um, platform. And then once that's up, you can actually um, once that's up, you can actually attach that uh, with a, with an Allen wrench right under the front here. And there's a collar on the bottom of it. Now your upper your upper hot air nozzle is a screw screwdriver um, Phillips head. So put your nozzle on that you would like, and then using a screwdriver. And your best bet is take a needle nose pliers and hold the back the nut on the back of the screw and attach it like this and tighten it up. Once you have them snug, you can adjust them a little bit so that they're square. Um, eyeball them up, line them up, and uh, adjust them for squareness. Um, and then raise that up. Now we're going to lower our lower, lower nozzle. Now the next step is the next step is prepping our thermocouples. So what we have is we have a stainless steel thermocouple which is going to be brought in on the right hand side and then we have our fine wire thermocouple which also is brought in on the right hand side so taking our thermocouples um, we're going to take our take our fine wire um, if you're a modified unit you have two pr positions here but on the stock unit you have one position so plugging in the first unit the fine wire probe you're going to plug that in there. That should be a fine wire probe, which is basically for monitoring under the edge of the, of the thermocouple. Um, the very tip of the probe has a very fine hair-like wire, which you're just going to stick the very tip of that under the edge of the GPU during, um, during reflow. We have another video online which shows you how to do that. So this wire, basically, I just um, I lay it the way I would have it, which is normally coming in from the right. I line it up lengthwise, and I just lay that on top of my rail. And then what I'm going to do is take some Captain Tape, roll off a little piece of Captain Tape, okay, take a piece of Captain Tape and then what we're going to do is we're going to want to bring that in from the right, we're going to put our rail right about where we would normally have it, and then after we have that lined up we're going to tape that to the very front of our rail. Now the reason we're taping it to the front is so we can still allow some movement on our slides. So attach that right to the front of the rail, um, which allows it to stay in place. When you're finished monitoring temperature, you're going to remove it and lay it right across the rails, um, going straight back so that it lays straight back. That way it's always ready to be used for the next time and it gets not too much play. Now what you're going to see here is we take a, a piece of copper wire and we loosen our set screw here our frame screw and we loop the copper wire around the tip the screw and then run it straight out we do that on this side and then we do a longer one over on the other side this is our bottom board monitor probe so once we have that there we're going to make ourselves some room and then we we basically take the probe and hang it out like this so that so that it's actually going to be pointing up into the bottom of the board now you need to take your probe and twist it around the wire. What you're what you're really trying to do is twist your your copper wire around your probe, but your probe is much finer, so you're not really going to be able to to make that really happen too much. So you use your fingers, try to make that happen to the best of your ability. But what you're going to end up with is is basically just a intertwined section, kind of like this. So it, you will be able to get it to kind of wrap around each other, but um, you're going to then loop that so that that's basically sticking up to the bottom of the board. So now when we set a board on there, 
it's going to come down, make contact, and then sit in position. And what that's going to do is that probe will then monitor the bottom of the board temperature. So take your fingers and kind of curve it so that the tip, the tip is there. So your tip should actually be in contact with the board. All right. So once that's in place, um, check it to see if it would connect with your board. Now on your right side, you have another another probe, and this is where our um, our lower heat monitor comes in. It's important to know the bottom heat temperature, which is actually being applied to your board. So taking your stainless steel encased um, probe, you're going to go ahead and mount that in the lower airstream and then repeat the same process we did on the other side. This one's going to be a little bit trickier because it's not going to want to give as easy. So we're going to loosen this up and get us a little more room here. All right, so we're going to want to get our length, set our length, and then take our, our probes and twist them together. Now again, you should end up with a uh, you should end up with a little intertwined twisted wire, and then at the tip you're going to want to bend it. You're going to want to bend it so that the wire is basically in the air box. You don't want it to poke down at the at the jet that's coming out. You just want it in the box so when the airflow is coming up, it gives you an accurate measurement. So that's your stainless steel wire. Now on the end, here you're going to have a lot of slack. So once that's in place like that, you should have a coil. You should be able to make yourself a little coil. You should be able to pull yourself together a little coil, and then um, your best bet is to attach that off to the side of the machine with some captain tape or um, something equivalent to that. Um, you could use a little a little twist tie. Um, attach yourself another piece of copper maybe down here on this nut right here, and then um, and then loop it around. So we're going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to grab an Allen wrench and we'll go ahead and do that. All right, um, once we find which Allen wrench we're using here. It seems to be a size that nothing fits. <laughs> With your machine, you should have got a set of a, new, a fresh set of Allen wrenches. So obviously, one of ours is ventured off. But um, in your fresh sense, set of Allen wrenches, there should be a good fit. So we're going to loosen that screw up. All right. Once that's loose, take your um. Take your piece of copper, give yourself a nice loop, and then slide that on. All right, what you're looking for is to get a nice little piece of copper here.
this unit um this unit arrived from overseas with some bent damage to the front housing which is very common which is one of the reasons why we always prep our units internally here for our customers um, there's always a little bit of damage coming in from overseas loose wires inside the cabinet things of that nature so we're going to line up our, our probe and then we're going to go ahead and make ourselves a small coil and then we're going to take this wire and loop around our coil so what you have there is a small coil of wire which allows your stainless steel to to lay flat and properly down inside the pocket there all right so basically that's all you have to do that's all you have to do to mount your probes and um, now we're ready to, to use the machine um, the next step would be to place your board on the rack and that'll be covered in a different video thanks